We are going to essentially use these three drawing techniques. Um, we are going to uh, use the three drawing techniques to create these drawings. We're going to kind of use them in order. So we're going to use finding the midpoint first just to kind of get us started, and then we'll move through the other two um, throughout the drawing, okay? So the first thing we want to do is we want to figure out, and everybody can do this, okay, whether you have a wrench or a set of pliers. What we're going to do, we're going to only use these rulers for just a little bit, okay? We're not going to use them a whole lot at all. I'm going to put this on to the side so you guys can see it. So what we're essentially going to do is you're going to measure how tall your tool is. So that's why I only had you guys have two rulers per table when there's four of you guys. So pick one person who's A, close to the tool, and B, you trust to measure it correctly, and determine just how tall your tool is. Mine is about nine and three quarters. Okay, so once you determine how tall it is, okay, then we've got to figure out, if you guys look up here on the screen, I'm going to use the ruler to figure out where I want the tool to go. So I'm just going to kind of pretend that this is the tool. Now remember, I want to stay out of the center. I want to stay out of the center. And I want to make sure I have a diagonal line. So I don't want to put this tool straight up and down, and I don't want it straight across. I want it at an angle, and I want it out of the center. So I'm going to put mine just right up here to begin with, up here in the top, sort of like top right corner. And then once I get that drawn, and I'm going to be using a regular pencil, but you guys should use a 4-H pencil, I'm going to draw a line. And I'm going to draw this kind of dark, but again, you guys should be drawing lightly where I want that tool to go. Okay? And you would do the same thing if you had a wrench. So if you had a wrench, same thing. Measure how tall your tool is. Once you draw that, or once you measure it, then determine where you want to put it. Again, make sure that it's not straight on your paper and it's out of the center. All right, so now I'm going to be working on essentially two drawings at a time, okay? I'm going to try to draw, kind of start the drawing with the wrench and the set of pliers that I have here. So those of you that are working on the other drawing, just you'll have to wait a little bit, okay? So now what I'm going to do, okay, and I'm going to show you this tool. I am not going to ever pick up this ruler ever again, okay? Now I do have some kids on this project who pre prefer to measure out literally every part of the tool. To me, I think that's crazy. So what I do is I literally... Just take my hands and I'll measure out the section. So what I'll do is I'll take my hand, I'll measure like, so for example, from the top of the tool to where the handles start, I'll use my hands and I'll measure that and I will put that right here and I'll mark it. So what I'm saying is, is that, and again, since we're doing these life sizes, just like our shoes, I measured with my hands how tall this was measured it, and marked it. So now I know where the metal part of my tool needs to go, and I know how, uh, where my handles need to go. Okay? Now, for those of you that have wrenches, okay, so if you have a wrench, what you can do is, so for example, you can measure, I'm going to measure from the top to where the uh, zip tie is that's holding the tool on there, okay? I'm not going to really 
because it kind of is right at the neck of the tool, so I can use that as a good landmark. Doesn't mean I'm going to include the zip tie in my drawing, so that's optional. So I'm going to measure from the top of my tool to my zip tie, and again, just to make this easy, I'm going to put both of them up here. Mark it. So I want everybody right now just to mark essentially the top, how tall the top is versus the bottom. If you want to use a ruler, that's up to you. I don't like messing with numbers too much. You have wire cutters. All right, so I'm going to continue. Okay, so right now, basically, what we have is we have pretty much just the measurement for the top versus the bottom section, so where the handle is versus the top of the tool, okay? So I'm going to deal with these pliers first, okay? So when you look at my pliers, one of the big questions that I need to find the answer to is how far apart are these? Because I want to be able to get that space right, and I want to be able to get that curve right. So right now, I know where this is, okay? So essentially where the, um, that orange handle starts, but I need to know where this is, and I need to know where probably everything comes together about right here. So I need to know where this is. So what I'm going to do to figure out this is I am going to, again, take my hands, and I'm going to, if you think about it, that middle line, goes straight through here that I drew. So that acts as the center axis of my tool. So if I know how wide this is, all I have to do is just center that over that line. So I'm going to figure out how wide they are. And I'm going to center it. Try to get this up on the screen. Now, my one is going to be going probably off of my paper, so but I'm just going to mark where it should go off. So I'm going to measure them again. Actually, it's going to be on, barely. So right here and here. And I just want to make sure that those are centered. Actually, it is going to go off. Okay, so mine's going to go off on this side, right over here. So for those of you that have pliers, measure how wide apart those are. And again, you can just use your fingers, figure out how wide they are, and then just center that on top. Center that on with your center line that you just drew. Okay. Now those of you that have a wrench, all you need to do is you need to figure out just how wide it is at the bottom. So again, use your hands, measure out how wide it is, and then center that. So figure out just either, again, how wide apart are your uh, handles, or how wide is your wrench? And then measure and then mark it on your paper. If you guys are a table that is wanting to measure this out with the rulers, pick one reliable person at your table to measure it and then communicate that result to the rest of your table. You guys can, there's no, nothing wrong with working together on this. Obviously, it's very hard, especially in these big classes, to get close to the tool to even measure it for some of you guys. So help each other out. All right, so the last thing I'm going to have you guys do, 
So I'm going to go back to the wrench. So those of you who have the wrench. So when you're looking at the wrench, we want to figure out again just where some of our landmarks are or just any pen, anything that we can measure out to help us with the drawing. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to figure out how wide the widest part is up here on the head of the tool. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out how wide it is up here at the top. And all I'm going to do, because I don't know where this is yet, I just I want to know how wide it is. So I'm just going to mark on my paper how wide the widest part is. And I'm going to kind of draw these lines like this because, again, I don't know where it actually needs to go. So then the next thing I'm going to do, take this again, and I'm going to figure out where it actually is. So the widest point up here is about this far. So I'm going to measure how far away it is from that zip tie that I measured off of before. I'm going to measure off of that. That's going to be right here, lined up here. So that means right here. So this is where the high point is. As you'll notice on all these uh, wrenches, there's a high and there's a low side right here. So when I do that, I'll try to zoom in. Then I want to measure where the low side is, okay? This line right here. So I'll measure off that zip tie to where that low side is. And again, mark and measure. That's where that is. So now I know where that line is, and I'm going to go ahead and draw that in just so I have that. So this line represents this right here, okay? So that's for you wrench people, okay? Sounds weird to say that, but we have wrenches and we have pliers in here. So for those of you that have the pliers, okay, so I'm going to put this up. I want to figure out again where some of these big land points are or landmarks are. <clears throat> so I can do a couple of things. I've got like a bolt right here. Some of you guys have like kind of a circle where the gears are of the tool. What you can do is measure where that is. So again, I'm going to measure off of what I've already done. So the handle, I know where the orange starts and I'm going to measure up to here where that point is. And then what I'm going to do is just measure off of that. Now I know where that bolt needs to be. So this mark that I have represents this section right here, okay? So you can try to figure out where everything, those handles come together and where those gears are. I can also, too, just because I know where this is now, I can also measure how wide it is right there. So I'm going to measure how wide it is. Again, center it and make a mark. So now I know how wide my tool needs to be right there. So let's get to that spot right there where we know sort of how wide the top of the tool is and where some of our big landmarks are. zoom out. Okay, so again, you're just measuring out where some of your landmarks are. If you want to know where something is, measure off of what you've already determined or settled. If you want to know how wide a section is, measure it and mark it.